the people of Seba. The people of Seba, who are from Yemen, lived happy lives because Allah blessed them with many blessings. They had two fields of gardens, on the right and on the left. These gardens had me- many fruitful trees and plants, beautiful views and shade for the people. Allah sent messengers to them, instructing them to eat from what he had provided for them and be thankful to him, as well as to worship him alone. Allah mentioned two blessings in Surah Saba. The first blessing was a good land they had where lots of fruits grew. The fruits grew to benefit the people. And the second blessing was a forgiving Lord who loved to forgive those who were grateful to him. Also, Allah made travel easy for the people of Saba. They used to they used to travel for business and trade. Allah made cities and villages around them very close in distance so that they would not have to carry much provision and want water for their trips. The way to their destination was simple and well known so that they would ne- not get lost. The travel was safe regardless of whether they travelled during the day or by night. This was another of the favours that Allah had given them. But instead of being grateful to Allah, these people became very ungrateful. They requested that Allah makes their trips long and lengthy. Lengthy. So Allah made their travel journeys long and frightening. Unsafe for them to travel with lots of difficulties. Allah sent a huge flood which destroyed their gardens, ruined their fruitful trees. Allah replaced their gardens with gardens of bitter fruit, sparse loat trees. Nothing grew in these gardens. This was a form of punishment for these ungrateful people who turned away from Allah and became arrogant with the blessings Allah had given them. This is a reminder for all people to not follow the footsteps of the people of Saba. We should always thank Allah for the little and big blessings that he has given us. We should be thankful to Allah by obeying his commands and staying away from things that displease Allah. As Allah says in the Quran, if you are grateful, I will surely increase you with blessings.